Today, the Morning Insiders take us inside a critical spot of Chicago's Ford plant, allowing vehicles like this one to eventually wind up in your garage. And only Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli can take us to the High Tech Command Center following a billion dollar investment. And it's very visual. I can see all the zones with cameras, remote zones. 500 robots, 110 employees per shift, and two buildings make up the Ford Torrance plant's body shop, where a good part of their vehicles come together. I can tell that it's running, it's green, that it made 314 units. If you called this corner with computer monitors, workstations, and video screens its command center, you'd be right, and there aren't many like it. It's a unique because it helps you, it's almost like you have the hand on the pulse of the shop in one place, and it's very visual. Plants have been capable of measuring their activity electronically for years, but this center allows managers to monitor it all from one location and make adjustments. So I can be watching my JPH jobs per hour in every segment. Because we want to be at the maximum JPH, I can know if my area is running slow, if I'm having manual intervention faults. Eric Bystrom, the body shop's general manager, says if a system is down, he can observe it visually on camera. Software helps determine performance efficiencies like numerical output or color-coded slowdowns at various points along the line. At the end of the day, my top 10 faults per zone, my top 10 faults by occurrences, and it helps us to manage the business, send the right resources. After a billion dollar makeover in March, which saw the addition of hundreds of new robots and a refashioned assembly line, Ford's Torrance plant is still working up to maximum efficiency. The command center helps managers ramp up production and adjust procedures daily toward that goal. This looks like the bridge from the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, it's kind of like where we want to be. And in a way, it kind of is. At Ford's Torrance plant, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. And the plant is now manned by more than 600 robots. Coming up in our next half hour, Vince takes a look at what that means for future employment at Ford and beyond.